Shout out to MessyModdingStore.com for sponsoring this video. So if any of you guys are looking for some Reddit online cash, gold bars, or even modded accounts on any platform, go and check them out. Again, it's MessyModdingStore.com. The details will be down in the description below as well. They have like all kinds of services, so definitely go and check them out. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So I haven't featured this glitch exploit method whatever you want to call it it's my it's one of my personal favorites because this is really consistent it's 100 percent consistent it's easy and you can get gold pretty much by doing like almost nothing all you have to do is pretty much ride around for two minutes and that's it so what you want to do is make your way over to lagra lagras however you pronounce it i think it's lagra okay it's lagra so this uh, just opposite to the Lagra fast travel point there will be an NPC named Thomas. So keep in mind if you're doing this for the first time you'll want to do his first mission. Like if you haven't done any Thomas missions like you'll want to do the first mission and then you'll unlock these two missions on the hunt and supply. So what you'll want to do is play supply. Now this glitch isn't like overpowered, like it isn't me mega OP or anything like the treasure map glitch, but it is still pretty good. Because with this one, like I said, it'll be a time saver. You don't have to go around and like change MTU. You can do this in a public lobby and you don't have to go around searching for treasure maps, opening the treasure maps. Now if you, if you are doing the treasure map glitch, then good like good on you because that is still the most like op gold glitch but if you for some reason if you're on like a three day cooldown for the treasure map glitch or if you can't get it to work then do this one so let me show you the map here and this is all you have to ride like this is how long it will be the ride will only be for like two minutes so just go to the objective area i mean the yellow drop off zone the estate there's like two different locations both of them are really close now some might argue that you can even do this with bounties because it gives you the same amount of gold but with bounties it'll take longer and there is a risk of losing the bounty killing the bounty there's like all sorts of different factors but with this one it's the same objective the same area almost every time so you don't have to i mean basically there is no risk with this one just make sure like there's uh, you're doing this in a lobby with less players because technically players can attack i mean i said no risk but no one really cares about stealing this wagon so don't worry i guarantee you you'll be safe so just ride around you'll only find like two or three enemies uh like very basic enemies they'll barely do any damage so you can pretty much just ignore them and if you want to just kill them with headshots for some free XP or something. You can take like a shortcut here. You can destroy these fences and you can head towards the estate. If you follow the path, like it will take a like few seconds longer. But just take a shortcut as you can see. If you take a right, I mean if you break the fence on the right, you can reach the estate. Alright, so this glitch exploit method call it whatever you want is equally beneficial for new and old players so if you started playing reddit online like today or like two days back you can do this as well because stranger missions doesn't require any roles anyone can play stranger missions so each time you do this you'll get 0.32 gold which is pretty good considering how hard it is i mean it's not hard to get gold but you know just time the more time you spend in this game the more gold you get so 0.32 is like the like i'd say the soft cap for the most amount of gold that you can get in like a mission so we will be getting 0.32 gold every time we do this so what you'll want to do is go to the objective area and don't deliver the wagon yet don't deliver the supplies because if you deliver the supplies you you'll only get like minimal gold it's up to you if you want like less gold but 
in like a faster time then you can go ahead and deliver the wagon but I suggest just wait outside the yellow drop-off zone when you park your wagon just outside the yellow drop-off zone you'll be pretty much invincible like no one can attack the wagon and you'll be transparent to other players so you'll be safe so to get the max goal what you'll want to do is wait till the timer reaches the three minute mark you can do anything till then and if you don't want to get afk kicked if you don't want to get kicked out you can just open your catalog like this and you'll be safe you won't get kicked out because your character like keeps moving your hand so <laughs> you don't get kicked out um, and you can do pretty much anything you can do real life stuff you can just watch videos and in no time the three minute work three minute mark will be here just watch like a couple of videos or you can do even the you can even do like daily challenges and just hunt and all you have to do like i said is wait till the three minute mark all right so as you can see the clock is about to hit the three minute mark so as soon as it goes to under three minutes you can deliver the wagon five seconds four seconds just park it outside the yellow zone you're safe okay so now as soon as it's under three minutes just deliver the wagon and complete the mission but this is the most important part of this glitch exploit so wait till you see the gold you can see point three to gold the money isn't good but i'm doing this for i'm showing you guys for the gold showing you guys i mean gold bars is what most people are looking for so so as soon as you see the gold you'll want to either close the application or disconnect from the internet if you don't do that you'll enter a cooldown i mean the mission will appear uh, the mission will be grayed out when you visit thomas again but when you disconnect or close app you can replay the same mission do the same objective again all right guys as you can see there is no cooldown i can play the same mission the supply mission isn't grayed out because i disconnected now if you didn't disconnect you wouldn't be able to play this mission you'll have to wait for like 15 minutes so make sure to disconnect or close app as soon as you see the gold after you finish the mission that's the most important part of this glitch now i forgot to mention you can do this with a posse as well so yeah so if you have a persistent posse seven of you can get the same amount of gold the friends if your friends are struggling to get gold just do this for them and all of you can get gold i mean your friends don't even have to do anything because only the one driving has to basically take care of this mission just try for two minutes and that's it all right guys let me know in the comments if you have any doubts I will clear it out. You shouldn't have any doubts because this was like the easiest or the easiest glitch. Alright, till the next video. Take care. Bye bye. And peace out.